Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be just a quick uh, meal prep. It is Tuesday night. It's 726 and we're making some changes. So um, Alana and I had a nutrition appointment. Both of us had an appointment today and um, my nutritionist wants me to start intermittent fasting. So she wants my eating window to be from 11 to 7 or 7.30. And so because of the fact that um, we just had that appointment today, um, I am going to eat tonight because I haven't eaten since uh, lunchtime. And I didn't plan on fasting today. But starting tomorrow, um, I will be intermittent fasting. But we also have to prep meals because we don't have any food ready and I still have to be able to eat tomorrow. So we're actually getting ready to do easy chili from the Southern Keto Cookbook. So somebody asked me today, and I apologize because I can't remember <coughs> the subscriber's name, asked me about which keto, uh, keto book is Natasha Newton's Southern Keto Cookbook. This is the one that has that cake recipe and we're also doing her easy chili, but I use, I'm using chicken, ground chicken. You just saw me grounding up some chicken because this is what I had. So really quickly, I'm doing easy chili using chicken. We're doing chicken salad. Jackson's going to make a keto banana bread. And then I think we're going to do an egg bake so that I'll have something for, since I can't eat my breakfast until 11 o'clock tomorrow, at least I'll have that for work so we're going to be doing a few things just thought you guys might want to come along with us as we prep in the kitchen yep there's a fly that needs to die immediately And take some of those pickle chips, pickle chips that are in there that we haven't eaten yet and put those in yeah. to Maybe ground them up. That would be a great snack. It yeah. would be a lovely snack. Is it part of the plan? Chili powder. Supposed to be for this soup, but I'm putting all the stuff Mom, in now. I'll take it anyway. Mm -hmm. Why don't you stop syrup and from Huh? Why don't you stop syrup and from the And what is molasses? I don't have molasses. And don't it's mean, not keto you, approved. I don't mean why don't you stop syrup? Syrup keto approved. Syrup. Why don't you stop syrup? No, because it's the consistency is different. It won't be the same. Does it taste sweet or uh, It's thicker. It doesn't taste sweet. I mean, it is sweet, but... It doesn't taste sweet. Never can I underestimate the amount of salt. Mom, is there another 
Uh, uh, um, what's the word? Um, a thing here. We only do about a tablespoon. Of what? How much? Oh, just dump all this. Okay, we'll just dump all this in. I'm just asking to get it out of my mouth and the cocoa pot to make it chocolate. All right, y'all, I thought I'd add this in real fast. Um, I was watching the sh uh, YouTube channel, Peggy and Dawn, and they were showing preps at Dollar Tree. Now, you guys know how I feel about Dollar Tree. <laughs> Whoo, mm, you, it takes a special individual. But they had some non-food preps, and I thought these were really good. Now, I know people say don't get Dollar Tree batteries, but if that's all you have, hey, listen, get what you have. And Dawn picked up C's, which I know sometimes are harder to find. So I got a couple C's. We got some uh, double A's and triple A's. We have some in the garage, but I just picked up some extra ones. I picked up this um, hydrocortisone itchy cream, floss placards, because we use those. Um, we picked up two more of the lighters. And then these foil sheets, which, um, uh, Peggy talked about using these, which I thought were really good, especially if you want to cover something. I know a couple people have been telling me about using the cinder block stove. If you needed to make a cinder block and sticks or something, I'd go back and look. But these sheets are really helpful, definitely. So I picked up a couple of those. Regular foil. Um, I just picked up some snack bags because we need those for the house. But then I also picked up a couple of these trays because these can actually go on top of the grill. And then we do have, I think I have one chafing dish, which Peggy said these could fit in your chafing dish. And hers, I think she got some bigger ones for the chafing dish. But still, I just picked up a couple um, things that I felt like might be a little bit helpful. I'm going to put that in the garage. Um... And then sometimes people ask me about my hair. And so I thought I would be full and upfront with you guys. So my father is um, part Puerto Rican and my mother is black. So I have a natural curl in my hair. It's very natural. So when you see curls, they are, these are natural curls. And then I'll put something on, like I'll leave, do a leave-in conditioner. But I have coarse hair, which is very... I have, coarse hair is not right. I have very thick hair. It's not hard, but it's thick. 
And so in order for the curls to relax, because I don't like tight curls, I do use a uh, relaxer in my hair or a softener. But for right now, I'm just going to use this relaxer. And I will take maybe this much of it, you know, not even a quarter of it. This will do four applications on my hair because it's so short. And I just take my thin tooth comb and I just comb it through. And all I'm trying to do is relax the curl pattern a little bit so that it falls properly on my head. Again, I have a really good grade of hair. As long as Alana's hair is, that's how much longer my hair used to be longer than Alana's. But um, my schedule, my time frames, getting up in the morning, trying to get out of the house, I do not have time for long hair. And long hair is maintenance and it's money. It costs a lot and I don't have money for that. That's not in my budget. So this was $4 um, at Dollar General. And I only get this once every eight, 10, 12 weeks, something like that. I know it was a long time when I got my hair cut this time. So, and then I own, this will last me four treat, four times or more, just depending on how little bit I use. But it's just to relax the curls. And sometimes I use like the kitty just for me, just to relax my curls. Hey everybody, uh, it is, well, it's 9.35 right now. And we are just finishing up this video so that we can all go to sleep so that we can get up early, well, later. And I'm actually kind of glad for you that I saved my time because it means I can get my full amount of sleep in. But uh, we have finished and we're going to show this part to you. So over here is the egg bait. I'm not exactly sure what's in it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's just some bacon, cheese, and eggs. I don't see any spinach, but we used all the spinach or either threw it out and I think there might be some if I didn't say it already I think there might be some cheese in here and that just looks delicious and it'll be ready for eating once we cut it up though we aren't gonna eat it today we're gonna eat it tomorrow over here we have the banana bread that we just pulled out of the oven and as you can see it looks good it's all chocolatey right here not actually touching that and over there you see with cherry. So, sorry. So it is looking nice and I'm going to uh, plate that. Well, not plate it, but put, flip it onto a plate once it cooled this down a little bit to harden up. Then over here we have, here we have the Easy chicken chili, which is, the recipe comes from the Southern Keto Cookbook, though we subbed out uh, ground beef for chicken, and that's why the meat is so white. And as you can see, it looks delicious and tastes even better, and it will be great for make heads. So that is it, everybody, and I'm not sure if this is the ending, but just in case it is, um, hit that like button down below. So that you know, like, so that we know you like this video. Also, hit the bell so that you never miss an upload. And make sure to subscribe so that you can be part of our YouTube family. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.